Okay, the ninth question, everything has been clearly told that what to do in this question, okay? So, chaliye. Uh, so, we say that, okay, it, it, had, it has already been mentioned in the form. So, this is basically your x minus 4x square over 3 minus x into 2 plus x square. So, you take the LCM. And this would become x minus 4x square a into 2 plus x square. People, you should be working it yourself. Okay. While I'm doing it. Okay. So we should put x equal to 3, first of all. All of this will be gone. Okay. Because when you put x equal to 3 here, so you will be able to get your A, okay? So this is going to be three minus four nines are 36. That is A into two plus nine. So this is minus 33, that is going to be 11 A and your A is going to be minus three. That is your A, okay? Next I'll be, I, if I look at this, I'll be putting x equal to zero, okay? I'll put x equal to zero. I have c and I'll get this a. So you have zero equal to two a plus c into three. And your c is, sorry, a is minus three. So this is minus six plus three c that is equal to zero. So this gives you C equal to two. Uh, next, we can compare the coefficients of X square, okay? So comparing the coefficients of X square, okay? So this is minus four equal to, you get A from here, AX square, and then you get this minus three B, sorry, minus BX square. This is minus B. So this is minus four equal to minus three. This is minus B. You can cancel out all these minuses. So your B is going to be equal to one. So finally, this has been written here um, as minus three over three minus X. And then you have plus X plus two over this two plus x squared. Okay, so we have to see what is second part, binomial expansion, yes, it is binomial expansion. It's a sense of 10, the expansion of this up to x cube. Okay, so we have to expand this up to x cube. Let's do that up to x cubed. So uh, this is minus three over three minus x plus x plus two over two plus x squared. Remember your first term should always be one. So I will be writing it as don't move them in the numerator until you have made the first term one. So this will be three into one minus X over three. This is, there is no need to do anything about this. Um, uh, this is gonna be X plus two. This is two into one plus X squared over two. Now this is gonna be uh, minus, now this will be minus into one minus x over three raised to power minus one, plus this will be half into x plus two into one plus x squared over two raised to power minus one. Okay, so now it's the time to apply that um, Pythagoras, uh, sorry, Pythagoras program that, um, Binomial expansion here, okay? This is minus into one plus N into X. 
plus n into n minus one into x squared over two factorial plus n into n minus one into n minus two over three factorial times x minus x by three whole square and this okay then uh, luckily we have already a square there so i'll not have to write many terms for this the second one which is plus half into x plus two into one plus n into this x square over two guys if you imagine if i write the next term there will be the square on it that will give us x to the power four that we're not interested in okay so that's it for this so the, uh, now let's simplify this very carefully it says one plus x over three this is cancelled by this plus x square over nine be very careful with the signs okay now three factorial is three into two into one so this is going to be cancelled okay and there is a cube on it why did i write square and all of this would result into a plus here so this is going to be plus x cube over 27 and that's like this you can show dots there okay then the next one is going to be half into x plus 2 into 1 minus x square over 2 okay and then i'll be covering the area up here and because i don't have space down there so i'll be simplifying it here so we have um, minus 1 minus x over 3 minus x square over 9 minus x cube over 27 then half into x into 1 is half x I'll write under this half x half into 2 is 1 sorry half into x is half x minus this minus x cube over 4 okay then i have this one into one is one and then one into this is going to be minus x square over two okay so when you simplify this so you have you can use your calculators quickly okay so so after all this simplification we get to this answer you must use your calculator over here okay while adding up simplifying all these fractions over here okay we only have to do the last i mean the first part of this question because the planes are nowhere in our syllabus so let's do that quickly uh it says show that the lines are skew okay so you have to see that from the line l you write uh the the parametric equations okay so this x is going to be 2 plus 2s, y is equal to minus 1 plus 3s, and your z is equal to 1 minus s. That is the first set of parametric equations from the line L. Okay. And then from the line M, we have x equal to 1 plus t, we have y equal to 3 plus 2t and we have z equal to 4 plus t. This is our second set of parametric equations. Okay. We are basically going to solve them simultaneously. So x from x and x, or you can say from 1 and 2. You will have three equations in s and t. Okay. So we have first of all 2 plus 2 as that is going to be 1 plus t. I can write it as t is equal to 1 plus 2 s. That is my first equation. Then I have uh, minus 1 plus 3 s that is equal to 3 plus 2 t. So I have 2 t that is equal to 3 s minus 4. 
That is my second equation. And then from the Z's, um, I have one minus S that is equal to four plus T. And your T is equal to uh, minus S minus three. That is the third equation. You have to choose any two of these two equations so that you can solve them simultaneously and get the values of, um, I mean, T and S. So we can solve the equation number one and equation number three because they're both equal to T, okay? So I would be saying, okay, from one and this three, okay? So one plus two S is equal to minus S minus three. So we have three S equal to minus four and your S is going to be minus four by three. Similarly, you put this S into one or two, so you get your T, okay? So this T is going to be one plus two into minus four by three. So your T is going to be uh, one minus eight by three, that is going to be minus five by three. Now we shall be substituting these values in equation number two. And equation number two should not be satisfied, okay? So this is going to be uh, two into T, that is minus five over three, okay? If that is equal to um, three into minus four over three, and what is there, minus four. So this is minus 10 over three, and this is uh, going to be minus 12 and minus 12, minus 24 over three. Hmm? That is going to be minus eight. So they are clearly not equal to each other. Hence, the lines are skewed. You have to write it down. Okay. So this ends our paper here, okay? The lines are skewed. Thank you very much for being with us, for being patient. Thank you very much once again.